All right guys this is Asif and you're watching the Tech Tipper channel and in this video we are going to talk about how we can edit 360 footage from Insta360 ONE X camera in Final Cut Pro. Now natively the format file format of Insta360 ONE X is .insv for videos and .insp for photos and Final Cut Pro does not support it natively. So we will have to convert all those files. Insta360 offers studio app and it has got the functionality to convert all the INSV files into MP4 files. So the fastest way is to connect your Insta360 ONE X camera to your computer using the data cable provided in the box or you can pop out the micro SD card and use any micro SD card reader to access the files. And Open the Insta360 Studio app on your computer and drag and drop all the files into it. Convert all the INSV files into MP4. You should keep the settings same. And also, if you want to make some edits to the 360 footage, like the starting point and the ending point, you can trim it out because uh, you might be turning on the camera and keeping it far away from you. So all those things you can cut out in the Insta360 Studio app itself, it will be easier for you later on. Uh, while converting the footage, you need to make sure that you keep two settings turned on or enabled. One is flow state stabilization, which will make your footage stable. And the other one is direction lock. You need to make sure that the direction lock is turned on so that you do not have to do any kind of keyframing later when you are editing the 360 footage in Final Cut Pro. So you need to keep these two things in mind and convert all the footage. Now it is going to take a little time for the INSV files to convert into MP4 which depends on the processing power of your computer as well as the amount of footage you have. In my case I had around 27 GB worth of footage and it took around 2.5 hours. And I would also recommend that you do not use your computer while the files are being converted because it uses all the power of your computer to convert all the files. Once we have got all our files converted into MP4, we can now edit all those video footage in Final Cut Pro because Final Cut Pro supports editing 360 video if it is in mp4 format and before we do that we need to create a project for 360 videos you can create a new project and select from the options one of the options would be 360 videos and then you can start editing your footage let's go to the computer i will show you how you can edit all those 360 videos so this video is also going to be useful for other people who have got 360 video footage in mp4 format so let's go to the computer and see how we can edit 360 videos in final cut pro so now i have got the final cut pro opened and since all the files are also rendered in mp4 uh, we have got all the files what i will do here is go to the library where i will have to create a new project so i'll click on command n which is creating a new project so I'll name something descriptive like virtual tour zoo because it's a virtual tour of a zoo in my area and in events here are two events I created so you don't have to worry about too much but for organizations sake I like to create events so that all the files can be dragged there third option would be uh, to select 360 uh, by default it would be somewhere here like uh, full HD uh, 1080p HD or 720p so you will have to click on it and select 360 and again you have to make sure that you are at 360 monoscopic not stereoscopic when you are on 360 monoscopic you will have the resolution of 3840 by 1920 and the frame rate would be 23 but uh, you have to select the frame rate you have recorded so i recorded my video at 24 fps so i'll select that one and now the other options would remain the same and i will click on ok so we have got our timeline here 
and let me go to the files that were rendered from the 360 studio app which were present here so these are all the files i can either select all and drag them to my timeline but for organizations say to keep things organized i like to create an event here so this would be an event where i will have all these files so that when i'm done editing my video i can simply go here and delete this event which will delete all these files here because i do not require them in final cut pro after i'm done with the video i have all the videos here one another benefit of importing all the files here is that you can inspect all the files individually they will open in this viewer area and you can take a look at them how they look you can also scrub through quickly here but i won't do that because i have already made small adjustments edits in the 360 app so i'll simply command a select all the images all the footage and then move it to my timeline so i have it in my timeline now you will notice that viewer shows me similar kind of footage where the 360 view is shown in a flat format and if you want to view uh, it in 360 format in normal video you can go to view and then click on 360 viewer it will open another window where video would look normally and uh, this is the video this would be the final video how it will be shown in youtube and the person would be able to move around if they move their smartphone so this is how it looks now while editing the 360 video i have to add a text somewhere to navigate the user where i will be going next adding text to 360 videos is a little tricky in final cut pro there is special text in 360 degree under titles and you can only use these for adding text in 360 videos and this looks good i haven't tried other text format but uh, let me show you how you can add it so i will use 360 custom 3d i will drag it here where i have to use it and now it won't be visible in uh, the 360 viewer it will only be visible in this format and if you try to drag this uh, title uh, to precisely to a place where you want it to appear uh, you won't be able to do that uh, there are manual controls where you can make changes to these positions x y z and it will change but it is little tricky and it takes a lot of time so what you can do is you can come here and then right click and then click on reorient and then you will be able to move this text to anywhere so since uh, this area has the 360 view you can place it anywhere in your 360 video so i'm going to place it here at this door and i will also change the size so i'll go to scale and i'll simply change the size now i will change the name of this title so this is how you add text to uh, the 360 videos now i'm done with the edit of uh, this video i have added a background music track uh, along with uh, the voice words as well and some text and also did some color grading by adding an adjustment layer and this adjustment layer needs to be uh, 360 format supported adjustment layer you cannot use the normal adjustment layer for your videos you would require this one i will put the link in the description from where you can get the adjustment layer for 360 degree videos because it makes color color grading easy you only have to uh, put an adjustment layer and then you can uh, do your color gradings normally you can do your color gradings normally and once you are done you can export this video so let me quickly show how you can do the reframing uh, of the 360 footage uh, even though it is a 360 footage where people can move their smartphones around and see everything but you need a reference point like uh, what the viewer should be looking at 
when they start the video and when they are not looking uh, left or right so you can do that uh, I am going to just show you but let me first play my clip so this is how the play uh, how the clip plays uh, and I need to make small changes like uh, I, I think the video is little tilted to the right uh, and I uh, need to level it so first of all I can go to the viewer and I can click on show horizon so it will uh, show me guidelines uh, which will help me to figure out uh, whether the footage is properly leveled or not and uh, th there are two ways to uh, make changes reorient uh, your 360 footage one is by clicking on this reorient and then making changes here by clicking and dragging this so it's already properly reoriented uh, i just need to make it tilt a bit on the left side so that it levels and obviously it is not going to be as precise uh, so uh, the other method is more precise uh, which is going to the inspector area make sure the inspector is on and you click on video inspector so that you have all the options uh, available for the video footage now when you click on your video particular video for which you want to reorient you will get the reorient function now here it is all zero degrees and uh, i am happy with the panning so it is properly uh, panning but i can change the panning precisely like one degrees minus or plus so it pans normally so i'll keep it to zero because i already achieved that uh, what i couldn't achieve precisely was the tilting so i can go to tilt and then uh do one degree maybe yeah or or let me keep it zero and click on roll and yes so if if i keep it minus minus two i think it would be fine So now it is properly reoriented so you can do the same thing for all your footage and once you are happy uh, you can export and like my project is almost finished and i uh, need to export uh, obviously i'm going to do uh, the reorientation one more time to make perfect edits uh, but let me show you how you can export go to shares master file and click on settings choose the highest resolution which is 3840 by 1920 and choose the encoding and export it from here as simple as that so this is how you can edit your Insta 361X footage in Final Cut Pro. Uh, while editing the video, I found that I missed covering few things such as adding background to the videos. I assume that you already know how to add background music and I would recommend that if you are creating virtual tours. And the second thing is if you have got a low powered Mac computer, uh, an older Mac computer which is not able to handle 5.3 k footage uh, you can create proxy files of the footage so the proxy files are actually low resolution files of the original media and the footage in your timeline gets replaced by the smaller size videos which is easier to scrub through which is easier to edit and once you're done editing you can swap those files with the original media so that you get the highest quality when you export the video and if you want to know how to create proxy media for files to edit heavy files 
4K footage or 5.3K footage. I will put the link in the description of this video once I am done editing that video or maybe that will also pop up in the top right hand side of this video. So this is it. I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more content like this. Thank you for watching. Thank you.